In the, in the immediate aftermath of the first fight, you said you weren't satisfied because of the doctor yeah. stoppage. You wanted to knock him out. Yeah. Do you have to knock him out this time? I think I could just box his ears off clean and, and it would be enough to, to make all my fans happy, his fans happy. But you guys know the nature of this beast. I want him dead. I want him lying there three, four minutes unconscious. Soul leaves and then when it comes back, hopefully he's like a better person, you know? Are you done with MMA? Man, I'll... That is my favorite roller coaster, the favorite best drug I've ever had. Better than any sex, better than any ice cream I've had. So I can never say I'm, I'm done with it. Am, am I like taking a break from it because I've done it for 20 years straight? Yeah, a little break ain't, ain't bad right now, especially for my body, you know. Just as we talked about earlier, it, it's a different grind and I, I could box for a lot longer right now without having to put my body through that beat down right now. On that BMF title fight this weekend, The Rock put that on you. You put that on Justin, and we got Mark Coleman this weekend. Talk to me about that. Yeah, man. You know when they be putting like bringing somebody from boxing, something like that. It's like, nah, you can't do it. This this belt can only be put on by bad motherfuckers that come from this sport. They're made their claim the fame and their money from this sport. So hearing that Mark Coleman's putting the belt, it's like, yes, bro. Like, yeah, you could. I couldn't think of a better guy to put it, especially what he just went through and all the great fights that he gave us winning championships here kicking ass over there in pride literally fought everybody he possibly could and he's just since i met him he's probably one of the coolest human beings i've met and especially in the sport you know how are you finding doing a camp away from florida it, it's uh on one end it's very tough because i've always up and down with my kids you know it's, it's just part of my routine even in florida i go I'll get an early morning run in, I'll come back home, drop them off at school, then I go do my thing, I go work out here, I go work out there, um, pick them up from school, chill with them, you know, and half the time they're with the mom, half the time with me, so I'm, that, that's like the schedule. Right now it's full time, I, I don't see them until I fly to Florida, you know, so uh, it sucks and it hurts, but as far as like a physical thing going, like I just rest a lot of the time now, I'm not sucking that Miami traffic because anywhere you go, it's like an hour and a half that way and two hours this way. So I got a lot of rest time in Vegas and all my energy just goes into training, recuperating and eating clean.